In this next video, I will show you how to document the CV risk calculation so that it can be easily found by the clinical decision support tools in MedAccess, such as goals, CDS triggers, and reporting. The first thing that we should discuss is the fact that there are many coronary risk calculators available and that physician preference really varies. MedAccess has two calculator templates available, the Framingham Hard Coronary 10-Year Risk Calculator and the UK PDS Coronary Risk Calculator for Diabetics. Either of these templates calculates the risk automatically if the required data is entered appropriately in the proper data fields. If your clinic physicians prefer using other calculators, the results should still be entered in a discrete data field so that as mentioned, it can still be found by the EMR clinical decision support tools. I'll show you how this is done later on in the video. First, a little bit of housekeeping. You must enable the system templates before they can be used by your clinicians. To do this, we're going to go to Templates, then Observations, and then we're going to search for the templates. They're system templates, so they have a star in front, so search for star frame for Framingham. And what you want is the one that has category attachment, template name Framingham Risk Assessment. And when you start off, um, the second heart here will be grayed out. What you want to do is click on it until it's red and that, if you hover over it, uh, tells you it's, it's, it's making it a clinic favorite. And then you're going to do the same thing for the UK PDS one. And there's that category attachment, UK PDS risk assessment. And again, you're going to make sure that the second heart is red. Now once you've done that, you'll notice that the category is attachment. That means these templates are task templates. So we have to sort of complete the other side of the task template. So while we're still in template management, we're going to click on the tasks tab. And we're going to go new. And template name, and you can call it um, Framingham or UKPDS, either one. Right now we'll do the Framingham. Okay, and then the category is going to be attachment. And the type, because we've marked them favorites, is going to be Framingham right there. And now if you move over to the, the observation side, this is a really important step. This is where you add the template so that the observation side of the task opens up when somebody selects it. And so in this case, what we're looking for um, is the Framingham Risk Assessment right there. And the next thing you want to be sure is that this assignee um, assigns to current user, so you're not sending somebody a bunch of these tasks. And typically, this, this type of task, you want to apply it as completed. There's really uh, not much action to do after it, so we apply it as a completed task. And it doesn't let us do that. I think you have to go back into it after and mark it as completed. And then you just save it. And then you're going to do the same thing um, for your UK PDS one. I'm not doing it at this clinic because they already have them saved as, as tasks. And so we did a, um, a survey of our, our physicians in our university clinics, and the majority of them um, pull up the, the CV risk calculation when they're reviewing labs. And that's why it made sense um, that it's a task template as opposed to a visit template. But of course, you can pull it up from either one. So if you're reviewing labs, then you can go to tasks and create this, this um, template. You're looking for the attachment category. Uh, but for the, for the purpose of this video, we're going to show how we do it from a visit. And so if I'm in a visit, and we'll just create a new visit here. Go to routine office visit. And so what you would do if you were the physician here is you would go to the task breadcrumb here on the page. And that 
actually you can do it right from because we created as a task template it should show up in your list see when I hover over task and I go to attachment now I have my UK PDS here and I also have my Framingham risk assessment and we'll do the Framingham and so because there's not a lot of patient data this is a test patient but typically um, it has it did have some sample data so it pulled the total cholesterol here of 2.3 and it's got the HDL would have pulled here the systolic blood pressure now it's asking us is the systolic blood pressure treated and you would say yes if it was is the patient currently a smoker and then it would calculate your your risk which is calculating here at uh, less than one and then of course you would mark it complete and save it and now you can see that in the plan of this particular visit it shows that we did um, a risk calculation and here it is and the nice thing is is you can also find it under tasks whenever you need it um, under the, the very obvious description of attachment Framingham risk assessment now for the physicians that use other calculators but you still want to record it um, in that case we need to be able we need to create a spot for them to record their their score whether they got it off the internet or their mobile phone or whatever and so what we need to do there is we need to go back to templates and the observations tab and now you have to go to the types section here and this is where we're going to say we want to create a new type and under the observation name we'll call this uh, CV risk score and under data type that's the other um, field you're going to need is basically select numeric because it will be a numeric score and under units here if you want you can put percent because it's typically displayed in a percentage and then you're going to update it so now what you need to um, show your clinicians is when you're in a visit new visit here so now if they go to these three lines here on the top right uh, corner of the observation side of the visit there's an add observation menu item and right there they would type CV risk score Should have worked we'll just do that one more time add observation actually yeah, you have to click on it and then in the description here see me risk score and you'll see that now we have a discrete data field to enter our result and so now your see your uh, whether it's your goals or your CDS triggers or if you're running reports on on which of your diabetics has not had one done let's say you it'll be able to find it because you'll look for this risk score and so that's an important um, thing to remember is that in order for this field to be found you need to be sure and add the observation name CV risk score to your list of synonyms if it's in goals or the criteria in your in your CDS trigger thanks for